from passions and pastimes. It was a great day until it started to thunder and rain. So I've come in to do um, another video. Hope you're having a great day. Hope the uh, weather is good for what you need wherever you are. Now, these are a couple of packages of what are called uh, necklace detanglers or multi-strand... No, they're not called multi-strand. They're something like multi-necklace clasps. It, it's strange names. I tried to find them online and I could only find a couple at Art Beads. Most of the um, beads shops online didn't carry them. Uh, and then on Amazon I was able to find them as necklace enhancers, which is kind of a strange name. But um, it, it allows you to take single necklaces and join them together to make a multi-stand necklace. So for example, well, I think the gold one will show up um, on the camera better. So here's this one. You can see it has two lobster claw clasps on this side and it has two rings on the other side and it is magnetic. So you attach the lobster claw to the ring of each necklace and the the spring ring or clasp of the original necklace onto each side and then you can wear them together and they go on and off easily with the magnet and you can get them in two uh, there's a three strander you can get them in multi strands I bought a, a, a package that had two silver tone and two gold tone um, I don't trust the online descriptions of them most of them say that they're um, gold plated or silver plated, but they're not. <laughs> and then this is another style that I bought and it came in, there's a four strander, three, two, um, in both ink gold tone and silver tone. Um, these are a little different. These are both magnetic and a slide clasp. So let's see if we can, there we go. So you can see it, it kind of, it's attracted to itself. So it both slides in and has a magnet so that, um, I think these are a little more secure. Um, but what I want to do today is actually try these out and see if they're going to work for my purpose. So I went and made a whole bunch of multi-strand necklaces. Um, if you haven't seen it, go and watch my Tropical Punch um, video where I took a glass pendant. There's another glass pendant and I made a multi-strand necklace. So here's a necklace that uh, I made and I didn't, video, uh, I didn't make a video of it, but right now I have the two strands attached at the end here and I haven't got a clasp put on it but here's how the necklace turned out and I think it turned out quite successfully uh, but then I got thinking well what if people wanted to only wear one strand this one the actual one strand does come out so I was looking around four ways it carefully comes out um, to turn these two or three strand necklaces into um, convertible necklaces is what I call them where you can change it from two or three strands to one now this particular strand weighs 80 or particular necklace weighs 80 grams so I'm gonna try to do um, some tests uh, with other necklaces that are 80 grams I don't want to take that one apart yet I have a bunch of other necklaces. None of these have the finished clasps. Whoops, oh, there's some beads. So there's some earrings. Oh, right, this one I'm redoing the, uh, how the, uh, the bail works here. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Just excuse me while I pick up these little beads. There we go. Okay, so here are the earrings. There's the clasp. This one was 85 grams. So, um, but you can see, um, I took the uh, copper, gold, sort of whitish silver and navy, 
from the clasp and worked all those colors um, into the strands of beads. And here I have one separate strand and I have one that's that will be attached by a bale. So if I made this convertible, you could wear this strand by itself and you could wear this strand by itself or you could wear them together. And that's my idea. So this one was 85 grams. Um, again, I wish I had, uh, I, once I got going with making these after making Tropical Pull Punch, the ideas had been sitting in my head for a long time and I had the beads all um, acquired and sorted. And I just went with it. I had so much fun making these. Here's another one. Here's the, uh, the clasp, the glass clasp with the white and the copper and the silver. And I, um, oh, and the orange. <laughs> and I ended up using um, carnelian beads and agate beads. So these are agates, these ones here, um, and these rough ones here. And then most of the rest, uh, all the way up there, there's some rough agates. And then in this strand, we have some agates, and then we have these little carnelian, tiny carnelian spacers. So again, two beautiful um, necklace strands, and but perfectly wearable individually um, or together. I took all these glass pendants off of the the ribbons that they usually come on because these are washable, cleanable. But again, I haven't finished the ends. Um, I'd have to put at least minimum lobster claw clasps on them if I was going to test them out in these other clasps. So this one again is 80 grams. So I'm going to look for some regular necklaces in the 80 gram range. And then we can uh, test out, not test out, test <laughs> the, um, test these different clasps. I'm just going to put that there as a reminder. There's the, uh, okay. And then I do have some three strand ones that I made. This one is 115 grams. So this one's much heavier. This had a flaw in the uh, glass here. The actual, the, there's a sort of a grayish layer there that came up to the top and it looked all cloudy. So I made a, a special wire bale for this one. So that's why this one's a little heavier. Um, but these um, strands do pull in and out of the bale quite easily, so this one could be um, be with or without um, its multi-strand clasp. That one I might not make convertible. Then um, I have all these little notes I put in the bags in terms of what has to happen. Here's um, a lighter one. This one's only 70 grams. And this one was a challenge to make because when you've got a heart like this, puffed heart, where the glass bale has broken, um, first you got to figure out, well, is it even worth saving? And I thought it was beautiful. So I thought it was worth saving. So I put, I glued on a, a, a silver plated bale. And there's one strand in it and then here are the other two strands that I made to go with it and even though this is sort of a monochromatic um, necklace I think there's enough interest in it that it works really well and this is one of the lighter ones so that's what it looks like Okay, so I think we should get started. We got 80 grams, 115 grams. What else have we got? I'm trying to think of, look at weights here. Um, I think there's something a little less heavy. Well, 90. Okay, so this one, this is another one. There's the earrings. Or one earring, second earring. Here's the uh, pendant. Um, this one strand doesn't come out. It, it's designed so that these two uh, large beads keep it in there. But I love the way I was able to find these um, coated 
clear beads that um, just really show off that pendant so well with the copper and the gold. And then here is the second strand. Again, you could wear it on its own or it brings all the colors together nicely with a second strand here in the center. So, um, yeah, so uh, something, I guess, this is 90, the other one was 115, so if I try to weigh, I guess, in the 100 gram range and the 80 gram range, then I'll be able to test these out. And my grammar is terrible. I should just say I should be able to test these. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do, since these don't have the clasps fully installed, is I'm going to find some necklaces that weigh 100 grams and uh, 80 grams, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have came back after finding necklaces that weigh, these weigh 100 grams, and these two together weigh... 107 grams so that 100 to 115 and I thought that would make a good test now I've only got two strands here, but I figure um, In terms of testing. It's really the weight. I'm concerned about are these clasps going to hold the weight of the necklaces, so Let's start With the gold tone might as well match it all up make it look real good um so this one necklace has spring ring and a ring, so it should be fairly straightforward. Spring ring. Through there. Gotta take my glasses off to see this on the camera. Apologize for taking so long. Okay. Well, I can also take this apart, so. Spring ring through there like that. And the other one, this lobster claw I noticed is way too thick to go through. So this, but I just put a spring ring on there. Since this is only for demonstration and not for forever purposes. But that's something, if you're actually going to use these for um, making enhanced necklaces, you're going to have to. Um, make big have bigger rings if you wanted to join this necklace on there um, And then we'll do the other side You can see it's magnetic. It's holding the chains So the other side is pretty straightforward I'm not going to pay attention to whether I've got the right rings in the right places. I'm just going to do it Let's make this as real life as possible because there we go. Oh, I'm I'm one of those people who probably would have liked longer lobster claws. So okay, so here's the first two strand um, magnetic clasp, and I've got whoops. Okay, it doesn't want to stay together. That's not a good sign. So I have eighty grams um, It's a little over two ounces of uh, chain on here if you were using gold Real gold or real silver necklaces. You wouldn't have anywhere near that much weight. You might have I don't know 15 20 grams, maybe I don't know I guess it depends on how much gold or silver you have um, So the but these I wanted to use with my assembled necklaces my convertible necklaces, so Put this back together and see what happens. So, if you were wearing these, you know, that's, I'm just bouncing it on my wrist and that seems to be fine. And like, you move your neck around and so on. But as soon as there's, let's see, where is it? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so that, if I were wearing bracelets, I would be worried that that would fall off that easily. Because with bracelets, you're, um, I mean, you could use these for, for multi-strand bracelets as well. But let's see if I pull it. Oh, 
I'm not, I'm, I'm undecided. I don't think these would be sturdy enough for holding a, yeah, glass pendant necklaces and glass beads. Okay, so that's the two strand one and 80 grams. So I've uh, put together the three strand one. So it's same same configuration, lobster claws on one side, rings on the other, together. These are two um, silver tone necklaces. They actually aren't too bad together. Um, so let's see what happens. Yeah, they they don't seem to take the weight very easily, or they don't seem to handle the weight very well. And I'm just going to hold them in the air and see how long, well, but a little pull. Okay, if you have to pull sideways, it's a little stronger. Um, so these might need a little more experimentation, but I'm concerned about how well they would work. So I'm going to take these apart. At least that's uh, easy enough to do. Lobsters on the other. Sorry, <laughs> I'm doing it outside of the camera. Apologize for that. Hope you're having a great day. We had just enough rain to uh, help the gardens. So there's the 107 grams. And this was the... Um, 80 grams. There's one half. I could see these being a great time saver if you uh, like to configure necklaces in, in many different ways. Go. So put those off to the side. And let's do the same thing. Is that a two? No, it's a three. All right, so a two in gold with this kind and a three in silver. So they work the same way, except they're magnetic and there is a, a slide clasp. We attach them in the same way. Get my, uh... well, this one doesn't have little rings on it like the other one did. I wonder if, oh, oh, okay. Well, I don't know if that makes it any stronger or not, but put that through there. my uh, temporary spring ring on this side. Whoops. Oh, I see that spring ring doesn't automatically close. Okay, there's that. Lobsters on the other side. <laughs> my chain was doing strange things because it was attracted to the magnet. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take these apart. I'm having trouble with the lobsters. I think it's just my big fingers. Little lobsters. Okay. There's one. Yeah, these ones are, because they're not flat, they're a little harder to manage the, the lobster claw. I would certainly want bigger. Okay, why is it not working here? I would want bigger 
lobster claws just for my own use. Okay, so they're attached. All right. So we have the bar, and there's the magnet on the end. Slides in there. Okay. Oh, that pulled apart. Let's try again. All right, so we'll put it. There it is. Hanging on my wrist, not coming apart. Oh, pulled apart about as easily as the others did. Okay. Pull this way. Yeah, you can see it's coming. Yeah. But, well, I don't know. Now I'm kind of... Uh, not sure um, how this would work. I may have to do some more uh, wearing of the clasps. Wear them around all day. See how easily they fall off. What's this? Oh, it's another clasp attached. Okay, so when you tug them this way, you're okay. Except as soon as you tug down off they come yeah all righty so this may not be the solution to my problem let's try uh, a triple strand just to be thorough in the experiment that goes on much more easily on that side So I think these would be um, better for your precious uh, jewelry. I want to do this where the extender attaches and again Tender attaches. There we go. They're uh, attached quite nicely. Put them in my hand like that, and they hang nicely. They don't come across. If I pull like that, well, that's interesting. All right, this one's not coming apart at all. Very, this is the heavier, this is the 107 grams. Oh, pulled that way. Well, so much for a definitive or non-definitive <laughs> experiment. Certainly this one only pulled apart once. I don't know what the secret is. So, I have a feeling that this might not be the solution. Um, but I'm going to have to take some time to think about how else to test these. If you have any ideas please let me know it's pat hood from passions and pastimes and this makers monday has left me with a puzzle what do i try next and maybe in the end i don't uh i don't make these convertible using a cl the clasp like this i just work some other kind of clasp into con to be convertible so there's the the three strand flat magnets the three strand bar magnets. I saw some online that were box clasps with magnets. So like this, but the I would expect the box, box clasp would be even tighter because it pushes in and locks in a clasp. But they were incredibly expensive um, 
considering they're really just made the same way, but they were like three or four times the price of these. Um, so I'm not sure I'm willing to spend that much just to test them. I'm also wondering if you could get your own bar clasps like this and simply add your own rings and lobster claws to each side. And that might be um, a much more inexpensive way to uh, deal with these, since these these kind of bar clasps are commonly available, and you know, um, I'll have to check prices, but I'm sure under under a dollar a piece, maybe under seventy five cents a piece if you buy them in bulk. Anyway, lots to think about. It's still thundering out there. I'm glad I came in. Um, to do this from the rain and I hope that uh, you have a great rest of the day and we'll see you uh, hopefully next week for Pat Hood Passions and Pastimes this has been Makers Monday mm -hmm.